What's up you guys and welcome back. If you're new, my name is Heather and I love sharing all-inclusive resorts with you guys. I am also a hairstylist. My husband is a travel advisor. We have three kids. We have been venturing to the eastern part of Mexico with these resorts, but felt it was time to branch out. So now we are bringing you an all-inclusive resort in the beautiful Puthacana, Dominican Republic. Hoping to help you guys figure out where to go on your next vacation and where to spend your hard-earned money. Sometimes these resorts are good and sometimes they're not so good. We are a young, fun couple that likes to keep it real and likes to have a good time. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button, give us a like, a comment down below if you have one. Now let's jump into a resort that we just got back from. Royalton Chic is an adults-only, all-inclusive resort that claims to be five stars. It has a luxurious modern feel to it, a beautiful beach, great food and drinks, all at an affordable price. So I can't wait to share this resort with you guys. Definitely stay tuned and we'll break it all down for you. Now the Royalton Chic is about a 30, 40 minute taxi ride over to the resort from the airport. We actually switched over to this resort from Breathless, which was just five minutes down the road from Royalton Chic. If you wanna know why we switched from this resort and moved over to Royalton, definitely check out my last video, especially if you're considering staying at Breathless Putacana. In case you're new to the channel, I always like to start out by talking about the check-in process and what we do as soon as we arrive to a resort. First thoughts when walking in was I loved the layout. I loved how modern it felt. You could feel the ocean breeze. As soon as you walked into the lobby, they welcomed us with these amazing drinks. Now at first when we decided to switch over here, we just booked the basic room. However, when we checked in, they gave us a great rate for the diamond club. So we went over to that lobby and upgraded. They gave us bracelets and took us to the specialty diamond club bar on the beach for lunch. Had my first drink, it was fabulous. The food was amazing, great way to start off, especially coming from that last resort. Now, I usually don't start out with a room tour, but I loved our room, so I figured why not. As you see, you can have access with your bracelet, no need to carry around and keep up with cards. You have a double sink vanity, very nice, clean, modern feel to the room, a rain shower, of course you get your standard lotions, shampoos, all that kind of stuff stocked. They give you a decent sized closet space that includes a safe, an iron, uh, slippers, and a robe. I did love that they had a big full length mirror. I always like that when I'm getting dressed up for dinners at night. A beautiful tub right in the middle of the room. We didn't utilize it, but it was a nice touch and it was very clean. I did run the water just to see how clean it is because some you know, hotel tubs aren't that clean, but it was okay. You do get a stocked fridge and those were some of the beers that were put in there. I was very surprised to see that they did offer Coors Light. Usually it's President Day or Presidential. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, very modern, soft bed. It did have some lights that I did not take a picture at night, but it was a very cool touch to the room. Now, the best part was this swim out. Some may not like that you're walking straight out to people, but it really didn't bother us. The only complaint I would have, I wish there was some dividers in between each little swim up area just to get a little more privacy, but it wasn't that big a deal. I really enjoyed this. We spent a lot of time right out here. I loved being super close to the bars and the restaurant. Walking back in, you can order room service on the TV. It was very quick, it worked. Of course, if you are Diamond Club, you do get a butler, so you could probably just text them and order room service of whatever you wanted, but I did like having the TV to do it myself. We didn't always utilize our butler, but again, favorite part, you could see there was a little eating place right across from us. We could just order right there and they would hand it right to us. Another small complaint is it has a motion sensor in the room, which means if there's no motion detected, it shuts off the air conditioner, the lights, all that. So our room did get kind of hot. I hung my bathing suit, made it swing around. Our air conditioner stayed on the whole time. So a little hack there if you're staying in a motion censored room. <laughs> now let's move on to the beach. The beach I thought was beautiful. Lots of seating. Even if you weren't a Diamond Club member, you could get a covered seat under palapas. They kept the seaweed under control when there was some. They had a nice bar, lots of waiters walking around, and the beach itself was beautiful. Now, if you go and look online and Google Royalton Chic, you might get this picture that pops up, and it looks like it's a brown, nasty beach, especially with the sand. That wasn't the case, as you can see. I wish they would take that photo off because it might 
scare people away from this resort. But we did get into the ocean a few times. The waves were not the calmest, but not the roughest either. They did have lots of guys walking around selling stuff. They even had some monkeys and parrots you could take your photo with. You are next to Nickelodeon, which is a kid-friendly beach. So if you start to walk, you will see lots of kids, but not a big deal. We did enjoy walking up and down the beaches. Now for pools. This is a smaller resort, so you're not gonna have massive pools. They did have these two little rectangle pools that were kind of pointless, I thought, but we mostly hung out in the main pool right here where they had fun activities, exercise classes, games in the afternoon, and there was always waitresses, waiters walking around, making sure you have a drink in your hand. Now you might be wondering, where's the swim-up bar? Something I always look for in resorts. They do have a swim-up bar, which was at the pool right behind the main pool. Literally steps away, it's not far. You can see it had a very nice swim-up bar right here. They did do some things in this section, but it was more chill for the most part. Loved the drinks here. Everything I ordered was amazing, especially compared to Breathless where we switched from. The quality of drinks was very, very high here. And I'm kind of a drink snob. I loved the Blue Hawaiian. I loved their Bloody Marys. Everything I had was amazing. Now, one little fun touch this resort had was the Mermaid Pool. Now, it says you have to be Diamond Club to go up here, but honestly, there was people hanging up here and I don't even know if they would notice if you were Diamond Club or not. You can test it, I guess, if you're not a Diamond Club member. It was neat to go up there and catch views of the entire resort. But again, no one was ever really up here. It was kind of hot, but definitely a fun spot for photos, of course. Now that's all for the pools. Let's talk about the food here. This claims to have five stars. I will definitely say it's very close. Very, very close. I enjoyed the breakfast buffet. Everything I got was great. Bacon and eggs, pancakes, omelet. I mean, they pretty much had everything you would want for breakfast, I believe. The lunch buffet, I really enjoyed their pasta. They had a wide variety of different things. And I absolutely loved the views you got setting up here eating for breakfast and lunch. Also for lunch, you can go over to the Diamond Club bar if you are a Diamond member. I love that you could put your feet right in the sand. You can order room service or they have the quick little restaurant right behind the mermaid pool where you can grab lunch from. So they definitely have different options for lunch versus just a buffet for those of you who like to have some options. Now onto the dinners, we did a la carte restaurants and we actually went back to the same one twice. If that tells you how good it was, they had these nice craft cocktails outside while you wait to get seated. And I did like how all the restaurants were very close. It did sometimes get a little crowded with people waiting to get in, but that's why I did like having the diamond club so we could have our butler reserve a time that cut down on our waiting. Otherwise, some people weren't eating until like nine or 10 o'clock at night. I loved the steakhouse. By far my favorite. We ate here twice. <laughs> the staff even came around one night asking for shots and gave us a little show. It was hilarious. Sushi, I always have to tell you about this. It's our favorite. Loved the sushi bar here. It did take a little bit of time to get to us. Very slow for sushi, I will say, but it was worth the wait. Everything tasted amazing. They do have more restaurants, but we only ate at three of them since it was a three night stay, switching over from Breathless. But I heard the other restaurants were just as good from other people that I spoke to. Down this hallway, I didn't get a good shot of it, but they do have a coffee shop, which is great for breakfast or even a late night snack. They had donuts in the morning, some snacks, some sandwiches, and the coffee was really, really good. They also have a diamond club where you can go get some snacks and drinks. Upgraded liquor is here versus out at some of the other bars. I will say though, if you're not picky on your liquor, then you may not think diamond club is worth it. My husband did like that he could get Tito's in here for his vodka. So if you're new to my channel, sometimes I come on here and give my thoughts and opinions while I'm doing some makeup typically so I don't forget to add this in the vlog. We are on night two of the Royalton and just switching over from Breathless, this resort's been so good. It's a lot smaller than what we're typically used to. We usually stay at like 
bigger resorts. And typically I like that because I like to have more options when it comes to food and drinks and like restaurants and stuff. Um, I like bigger pools and just, I don't know, being able to be spread out and not on top of people. This resort is like a 300 room resort. So very, very small compared to what we're used to. And it's actually been so nice. What you get for how affordable this resort is, like even if you don't upgrade to rooms or the Diamond Club as they call it here in, at Royalton, um, you're still going to get, you know, really good service experience, I feel like. I will compare Putacana pricing definitely to the Cancun Riviera Maya when it comes to how much things cost. But coming back to the Putacana resort we are at right now, Royalton has been very, very nice. Um, it's a good bang for your buck type of resort. It's not going to cost you a lot of money, even if you want to upgrade. We've had an amazing butler. We've utilized him a few times, but we're not like always texting him. You know, I feel like we can do a lot of stuff on our own, but it's been nice here to have the option to have him book our restaurants ahead of time. So we're not having to wait till maybe nine o'clock to eat. Do we have to have a butler? No, but it's been nice because we don't always upgrade our rooms. We typically like to book the basic room just because we travel so much and we like to save a little money. This is definitely a resort you could pay for the upgrade with still being you know, a good affordable price. So I think that's really, really fabulous that this resort is not, you know, super crazy expensive, like where we just switched from over at Breathless. We were in the basic room and paid so much more than the upgraded room here at Royalton Chic. I like that this resort has a upbeat vibe. They, we missed the pool party or the phone party, but they do have phone parties here. They have nightly entertainment with themed parties. Um, they have a disco or a nightclub, which is always, fun for me because I like to go and dance. They have shows, um, they play upbeat music, a little variety of all music, but definitely more upbeat. And the crowd varies. You will see younger and then you'll see older too. We've met so many people from all different ages. I would say if you like more quiet and chill, this would probably not be your place. You would want to go more like, you know, live aqua, secrets, property, something that's a little bit more honeymoonish. We're past that stage in our life. We want some nightlife. We want some fun and some, you know, entertainment, I guess you would say. So this type of place is more our personal liking. So I'm going to finish up getting ready. Um, I believe they're having some type of a themed party night tonight. I don't even know what it is, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. So go to dinner, go to the party. We'll show you more of that. So stay tuned. Now let's move on to nightlife, what to do after dinner. If you're not ready to go to bed, they do have a fun little hangout spot right here at the bar where they do their shows. They have some fun dancing. Their E-team, as they call it, their entertainment team is so fun, keeps the crowd going. They also have a small casino and an indoor nightclub, which I totally forgot to film, I'm so sorry. One night they did bring out vendors that were selling some things. I will say their shows that they put on aren't huge elaborate shows like at bigger resorts, but I still thought they were fun and at least they have something that keeps you entertained. Now let's quickly talk about the spa and the gym. It's located in the front of the resort, like in front of the lobby. This is where the standard rooms are. If you don't upgrade to the Diamond Club, you're gonna be a little bit further back. It's not a far walk from the pool, but just in case you would like to know the difference from Diamond Club, it's right there near all the pools and the restaurants as in the standard rooms are a little bit further back near the spa and the gym. I did think that the gym was very nice here. We didn't even know about the gym until we were doing our massages. They do have a hair salon. No one was really in there, but there was a lot of people utilizing the gym and I can definitely see why they do have lots of equipment. And me and my husband just decided to get massages while we were here on our stay and paid about $250 for both of us for an hour massage. They do have a nice hydrotherapy room that you can do before you get your massages. Here's a quick shot of that. I'm technically not supposed to have my phone out. So quick little peek for you guys. Now, as I mentioned before, the drinks here were some of my favorite drinks, especially when we were moving resorts, I could really compare the quality from say breathless drinks versus Royalton Chic and Royalton Chic hands down five stars, very nice crafted cocktails, the Bloody Marys, oh my gosh, I was drinking these nonstop, they were so good. And it was never hard finding a drink here. They did have a couple of bars right around the pool area, as well as the waitresses going around taking orders. They always did a great job. So 
definitely five stars for food and drink, rooms. I mean, this resort was such a good bang for your buck. Definitely hit us up if you are interested in booking. I was so sad to leave. We ended up staying three full nights here and I would definitely return to this resort, which I don't always say because we're always trying new resorts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely hit Variety us up of vacations, if you're planning a trip. Anywhere you wanna go from beach to mountains to cruises to Vegas even. I mean, just anywhere your heart desires, we can book it for you. No price gouging, just a small little business that me and my husband have started since I always get so many comments from you guys on where to book and most affordable. I try to bring that to you guys. Guys. So I hope that you guys subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and a great week.